So as we all know, Chris Eubank Jr. will make his second defense of the British middleweight title on October 22nd against Tommy Langford. Now I have to confess, up until the past couple of days, I'd never actually seen Tommy Langford fight. So I did my due, due diligence. I went online. I had a look at a couple of Langford's fights. And after reviewing them, I have to say, I think Tommy Langford is a better technical boxer than Nick Blackwell, Spike O'Sullivan, or Tom Doran. From a technical perspective, I think he can give Eubank Jr. much more problems than any of those guys. Now, I'm not saying he's a better fighter than any of those guys. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I'm just talking about from a technical point of view. All those guys were very rudimentary fighters. Nick Blackwell, as tough as he is, was never a technical boxer. He was never, never a guy that was going to give you problems with his technique. Same goes for Spike O'Sullivan. Same goes for Tom Doran. These were all guys who would stand right in front of you. And against that type of style, Eubank Jr. looks very, very good. But against somebody who's a bit more technical, I think Eubank Jr. could have issues. And this Tommy Langford guy, he hasn't fought anybody special himself. But just looking at his style, his height, Tommy Langford is much taller than those guys I just mentioned. Tommy Langford is six feet tall. I suspect his reach is just as long as Eubank Jr.'s, if not longer. And he does like to use his jab and, and what have you. I'm not saying he's... Bernard Hopkins in there technically But I'm just saying he's better technically than Eubank Jr's previous three or four opponents So I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be a difficult fight for Eubank Jr I'm going to go and say that much I would not be surprised if this turns out to be a lot more difficult than he Or most of the pay and public bargained for have a look at Tommy Langford's fights and tell me what you think, people. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to go overboard here. Eubank Jr. has fought better opposition than Tommy Langford has fought, so it's difficult to sit here and try to tell you that Tommy Langford could spring an upset because we just haven't seen him up against the quality of opposition that Eubank Jr. has fought. Eubank Jr. has fought people like Billy Joe Saunders, for example, who is... A current world champion. So he's he's definitely been mixing in fight far higher class. But just have a look at Tommy Langford stylistically, have a look at his fight, see what he does, and ask yourself, do you think that he could give Eubank Jr. some issues there? I personally think he could. I think this might turn out to be a more difficult fight for Eubank Jr. than his past four fights. From a stylistic point of view. I mean, the Blackwell fight was tough in terms of Blackwell made Eubank Jr. work hard. But Eubank Jr. barely lost any rounds in that fight. I mean, maybe may a couple, but for the most part, it was a whitewash on the scorecards. Same goes for the other fights up until they ended. So, you know, that is what that is. But Langford, I think he could win some rounds against Eubank. I really do, just looking at his style. I think he might be able to make things awkward. We'll see anyway. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out. In fact, sorry, before I go, I also have to say we don't know what Tommy Langford's chin is like. Now, Eubank Jr. is not a monster puncher, but he has some power there. And if Langford is at all fragile around the whiskers, that could be a problem. <laughs> you know, you're going to have to have some type of chin fighting Eubank Jr. because he's going to hit you a lot, given the opportunity anyway. So that's another thing we don't know about Langford. But as I say, stylistically, I think he can cause Eubank Jr. problems as long as he's got a decent enough chin. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'm out.